have a lot of news yeah. to get to this morning, and we begin with the search for answers. After that deadly shooting on a college campus, a 22-year-old gunman opening fire in a classroom, killing two people, injuring four more at the, universe, at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. The chancellor's there saying it's the worst day in the school's history. Police say the shooter is now in custody. Steve Osinsami is on campus starting us off with the very latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Robin. This was a frightening moment for students and teachers here who were running for cover, worried that this wasn't just the last day of classes, but the last day of their lives. Gunfire, panic, and two people dead. This is what became of the final day of the semester at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte. We have multiple victims and you're running multiple ambulances. Kennedy Hall in the heart of the campus is now a crime scene. Around 4.40 p.m. Our dispatch received a call that a suspect was armed with a pistol and had shot several students. The accused gunman, who students say had dropped out of school, was back in a classroom opening fire as students were giving their final presentations of the semester. We had two fatalities. We have three that are in critical condition and one that is not. Tristan Field was there and got out alive. I heard some some, I heard some terrible screams I don't want to hear again. Students across campus got the frightening alerts on their phones, telling them to run, hide, fight, secure yourself immediately. Police came quickly and say they were able to get the gun away from the alleged gunman before he could reload. Police say the suspect is 22-year-old Tristan Andrew Terrell, someone with no history with police at all. Can you tell us what happened? One of the students killed was just 19, the other 21. Four others were wounded, including a student from Saudi Arabia whose family is flying to Charlotte today. Four people were wounded, and a student newspaper here is confirming that one of them was one of their sports writers seen here. He is out of surgery this morning. This accused gunman will appear in court tomorrow. Finals that were scheduled today are now being moved to Sunday. Dan? Another active shooter in America, Steve Osinsami. Thank you. We're going to move on now. This is a tragic day at this great university. We've lost two members of our community. The guy next to me got shot. I can't tell you the sadness of the entire community. We do know that this is the worst day in the history of UNC Charlotte. And here we are again, yet another community asking themselves why. Students gunned down at UNC Charlotte on the last day of classes yesterday, killing two and seriously injuring four others. Police say the suspect wasn't even on their radar. 22-year-old Tristan Terrell, a former student reportedly at UNC Charlotte, though CNN has not confirmed that. He allegedly opened fire from inside a campus building as students were waiting for a concert to start outside. As police walked him into the precinct, he mugged for the cameras. Joining me now, CNN's Diane Gallagher. She is at UNC Charlotte campus, actually her own alma mater. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. You know, I want to start with those who lost their lives. I understand we are just getting information in on who they are. Yeah, the chancellor um, in a radio interview this morning broke the news and it has since been confirmed by uh, law enforcement officials and family members that we've spoken to. Of course, two were killed on that last day of school yesterday in that classroom doing their final presentations. Uh, those two were Ellis Parley, a 19-year-old from Midland, North Carolina, and Riley Howell, a 21-year-old from Waynesville, North Carolina. Now, uh, one of our colleagues at CNN spoke with Riley's aunt uh, who gave permission to say that uh, the police Police have told them that Riley's last act may have been one of uh, heroism as he potentially tried to jump that shooter after he opened fire in that classroom, of course, killing Riley and Ellis and wounding four others. Those four others are Drew Pascaro, Sean DeHart, Rami Ahramadan, and Emily Hopps. Now, three of them still in the hospital right now, Lynn, and, and people here on campus just kind of trying to, to process. Not a lot of people on campus today and, and look yesterday was the last day of classes uh, people were expecting to be studying for exams getting ready to take those exams instead of uh, preparing to try and retrieve their belongings after that lockdown uh, that lasted through the night for some of them and uh, coming back for a vigil this evening.
Yeah, and Diane, sadly, we know the drill here. We know how this goes. We know what the days following a school yep. shooting looks like. Um, talk to me a little bit about what mm -hmm. more we're learning when it comes to how this came to be. How was he able to be there on campus and yep. execute this? So we know at some point he, he was a student here at UNC Charlotte and where the discrepancy is is whether or not he was actually technically a former student or just wasn't really attending classes. But at the beginning of the semester he was enrolled as a student here at UNCC. Um, some of the students that we've talked to on campus said that uh, he went to that class. He was a member of that class. Um, usually about 100 people or so in that classroom. Yesterday, only roughly 30 because they were doing those final presentations throughout the week. So it was a smaller classroom that day. According to a student who was in there, he tells me that the shooter just opened the door and came in and started shooting. Uh, he didn't say anything beforehand that they could hear. He just, in the words of the student, he told me that the guy opened the door, came in, pulled his gun up, and then started shooting in the north corner of the classroom. And the rest of the students at that point trying to get out of that classroom and run. Of course, there was panic in that situation, but it, it in a in a good way, but also a very sad way. So many of them knew exactly what to do because they had been doing these drills for most of their lives at this point now. Um, the video is really haunting, watching them all come out with their hands up, walking across the campus. So many of them were tweeting from inside the library or inside classrooms that they were locked in until the police were able to search the area and make sure there was just that one gunman. You showed the video of him being taken in to the police station there. I, I talked to some of the students they didn't see that but some of the kids were getting video from those classrooms uh, watching the police take him into police cars so they kind of watch this unfold uh, while also trying to run for their lives mm. Diane Gallagher thank you so much for that we're also giving word that there's gonna be a 2 30 p.m. press conference with police we may learn more we'll continue to follow that right here on HLM meantime